A live look now at Lambert Airport from our BJC Skycam network. A group of St. Louis citizens opposed to privatizing the airport are now sending their message through City Hall. They say they want voters to have a say. Investigative reporter Chris Negus in our newsroom tonight with the story. Well, Claire, we are talking about a grassroots effort. They are collecting signatures for their petition. Today, they told me thousands of registered voters are already on board, but they vow to get the signatures of thousands more. Standing on the steps inside City Hall, eight citizens, along with three members of the Board of Aldermen, stood in unity. They brought signs and their petition. We have uh, over 3,000 signatures right now, and we're hoping to get 10,000 by uh, August of next year. And how many do you need to get this on the ballot? 6,500. Talia Earl is part of Not For Sale STL. The group opposes any effort to privatize Lambert Airport without a public vote. They say it's part of a larger movement. In a longer term process, we're also going to be opposed to any sort of privatization of any municipal asset owned by the city of St. Louis. These taxpayers worry the process isn't transparent. They also fear the airport might be leased for less than its potential value. Adding to their concern, the lack of comparable deals in other American markets. It's never been tried in the continental U.S., so we don't feel like St. Louis is, should be a guinea pig for something. Whether voters get a say or not, any deal is contingent on the airline. Southwest is the airport's largest carrier. Today, a spokesperson told me Southwest is currently in confidential negotiations with the working group hired by the city to study whether there would be benefits to a privatization effort. At this time, we do not have enough information to develop a stance on whether this would be beneficial to the airline community. These citizens want access to the same information being provided to everyone involved with the effort to privatize. We have a right to the same information that the feasibility study consultants are having. Do you want to wait and see what the process yields? What if the consultants come up with a great plan that talks about cash infusion for the city and this looks like a win-win. I mean, you're open to the other side. This isn't a win-win. It's only going to line the pockets of about three people and the city of St. Louis is going to lose millions of dollars in asset because the airport is our greatest asset that we have. After meeting with the group at City Hall, I walked upstairs to the mayor's office. Mayor Cruz and spokesperson was not in at the time. We have been trading emails today. I'm hoping to get the mayor's response. Live in the newsroom, Chris Nagus, News 4.